Okay, uh, first we'll go over my long guns here because that won't take but a moment because I don't really hardly have any. I just have a few. <clears throat> now I do have one that's coming here soon that I just ordered and it should be in this week, but I don't have it yet so it's not here. But all I've got as far as long guns is I've got a 4570 here, stainless marlin. Uh, one, one has my Superman that I uh, super bubbled my Superman logo on the side of there with laser etching. Uh, that's 4570, you know that's your standard uh, trail gun, bear gun, you got to have one of those. Uh, I've got an AR-10. This was my, uh, was a stock DPMS, but I just kept the body, changed out the barrel to a stainless barrel, shorter stainless barrel, uh, switched out to a Troy Guard, put a different st uh, butt stock on it, kind of customized it, made it a little more handleable, handleable. I guess that's not a word, uh, easier to handle. Uh, so that's uh, my AR-10. And then I got my little AR-15 pistol with my Punisher logo. Uh, built this from scratch, Spikes Tactical Lower, uh, Yankee Hill, some other parts, uh, some just a bunch of different, little Franken pistol, just a self-built pistol with a stainless barrel in there. I don't know if you can see in here very well or not but you know stainless barrel inside there so nice little pistol uh, I can still consider it a long gun though even though it is just really a pistol but I've shown it here with my long guns but uh, that's pretty much all I've got for rifles uh, now I'll show my uh, all steel semi-auto uh, pistols that I have uh, these are not my polymers I'll show my polymers later but right now we'll deal with the all steel ones uh, got a few here, not a ton, but got a few. Uh, this right here is my Detonics that I customized myself. I completely redid this. This is one of the uh, rough textured guns that they produced a long, long time ago. And I completely refinished it, gave it a completely new finish. Uh, Car MK40, 40 caliber, subcompact. Car K40, which is just a compact 40 caliber. Uh, my Kimber, of course, my Kimber Pro Raptor 2 stainless. Uh, Sig P232, a 380, big 380, but a 380. Colt Series 80, commander size 1911. This is a combat commander, all stainless, everything. Uh, <clears throat> my Sigs here, my my uh, Sig P220, my Sig P226, my Sig P229, 226. Uh, 40 caliber, 9 millimeter, 45 ACP. Uh, then my Colt officer's model back here, 45 ACP officer's model. So these are all my uh, my all steel guns, and as you can see, stainless only for me when it comes to things like this. Not that I don't like the looks of bl blued guns, it's just that I love the looks of a good blued gun. I'm just too anal, I can't stand scratches or nicks or dings or blemishes, and you can fix stainless back to brand new. If something happens to it, you can't do that with a blued gun on your, on your own. So. This is what I have as far as all steel semi-auto pistols. Not a huge collection, but uh, I used to have a lot more, but I went with, I narrowed it down and started going with what I considered quality over quantity. Uh, you know, I could sell a lot of these guns and buy two or three lesser guns for the price of them, but I would rather keep what I consider nicer end guns in my collection. So those are my semi-autos. Uh, P.S. There are two semi-autos missing from this. I have one. I have a uh, vintage World War II Luger that I have in a safe deposit box, which I don't have currently at home to show you. But uh, And also uh, my SIG uh, P238, which is, was on me at the time that I'm filming this. So that's two that aren't shown, but those are with those two included, that's all my all-steel semi-automatic uh, pistols. And now to show uh, my uh, first love, if you will, uh, revolvers, wheel guns, whatever you want to call them. Uh, as everyone out there probably knows who watches me regularly, my favorite type of gun is the wheel gun or the revolver. So these are the revolvers that I now currently own. Uh, the only one not shown here is my uh, antique Smith & Wesson Single Action Army, which is in the uh, safety deposit box along with my uh, Luger. But everything else is here, so I'll show you those. Uh, we have my Colt Magnum Carry, my Colt Detective Special. This is the SFVI, which is the small frame six shot. These are both six shot small frame revolvers. This is my Talo uh, uh, Ruger SP101, Smith & Wesson 686 Plus, uh, seven, or a six shot, or seven shot uh, 
357 Magnum revolver. This is the, probably the crown or jewel of my collection, the uh, flagship of my collection of revolvers, which is my Colt Stainless Python. Another 686, this is a Pro Series 686, the SSR. Uh, 629 Ma Magnum here, uh, Smith & Wesson 44 Magnum with the slab side barrel. This is a Performance Center Mag uh, Smith & Wesson. Another, uh, this is the Carry Comp Smith & Wesson, another Performance Center Smith & Wesson 44 Magnum. Model 640 Hammerless Smith & Wesson uh, Revolver, 357 Magnum. And a Model 60, this is the Leonardo da Vinci, the LDV model. Smith & Wesson 357 Magnum Revolver. These are five shots here, these two. And the big boy of my collection, the Smith & Wesson 500. And hit the, little, the slightly smaller Colt Anaconda 44 Magnum. So those are the revolvers I have, like I said, along with the uh, Colt Single Action Army that I do not have here. Once again, you can see Stainless Rules the Roost. But these are my uh, current collection of wheel guns. And uh, last, we have my polymer pistols. Now, I don't have a lot of polymer pistols because I'm not a big polymer guy. I uh, prefer all stainless steel. Everyone knows that. Uh, even when you see my polymer pistols here, you can tell I like stainless steel. The only exceptions being the Smith & Wesson uh, M&P40C and the Glock 23, when really the only exception is the Glock 23 because underneath this black face here is a stainless slide. And I'm, Mason, I'm sure someday I will have that be blasted off and have that just be a two-tone gun. But uh, for polymer pistols, uh, I do have another uh, Glock 23 that's not shown here, but this is pretty much what I've got as far as polymer pistols. I've got, a, this is the Beretta Neos, a 22 long rifle gun, which is what my son shoots at the range. I've got my new FN, FNX uh, 9mm here. I've got uh, an FNX 9 is what it's called, I do believe. Got my Beretta PX4 Storm Inox 9mm here. Six hour P252 tone 40 caliber here. Really, uh, probably one of the most underrated guns on the market today. As I said, my uh, Smith & Wesson M&P 40 compact, my Glock 23 compact, and my little Sig P290 here. So these are the polymer guns that I have. Like I say, not a lot of polymer guns, but those are the ones I have. Uh, ones I have for now. Uh, I'm not going to say these are the ones I'm still going to have. I uh, have a shield on order, a uh, Smith & Wesson M&P shield. Hopefully that will come in someday soon. And uh, one of these guys might be going away. Uh, don't want to say anything in front of them, but uh, one of them might be leaving rather soon. So that's what I've got for right now, plus one more Glock 23 that's out in the car.